You have a habit of stealing things, by the way. You have stolen something from all three of the friendly faces we have met so far. <sighs> well, no matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. <laughs> Thank you. I was I was surprised by his uh by him turning down the photo in the first place. But I think some of it is just I think he's barely holding it together and refusing to acknowledge his past on, as much as he can is how he does what he does to an extent. Although he's been through some shit lady that might have pushed him past that a little bit. Approaching the quarantine zone. So far it's been quiet and pretty and sunny and nice. This time it's gonna be different. I just know it. What do you mean? They're gonna be there. The fireflies. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm glad you're sure of it. So far, still quiet. Watch me have all my shit upgraded just in time to never need it again. That's not sharp. I need sharp things. Oh, there it is. I didn't detect what she was- what he was reacting to at first. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, there's even a big one. Great. That makes stealthing through a good idea, if I can. Really? That takes care of the two that can see. Oh, there's one down there, too. I didn't think... I thought that one was a clicker at first. It's really far away, though. Yep, that one's still an arrow. Take it quietly, Ellie. This one break, too? Of course it did. You know, I kind of need those arrows. The arrow mechanic's pretty good. They're just such a rare resource, but they're so mandatory for stealth stuff at times, and you can just lose them permanently. Like, they're so useful, but they're a pretty rare resource to find in, in any given level. Hey, let's get that flamethrower equipped. This is a level where I'd use it against the undead, where they're more likely to be in range, more likely to be vulnerable to it. I made it this far. Those are just bottles. I think I already have. Yeah. I could use a bottle, I guess. Don't have to worry about line of sight, mostly. There's so many of them. Yes, there are. Let's just keep at it. Fuck. There are so many of them. This hallway is way worse than the one I was already in. The clickers can't see us, at least. Ah, uh, but the water's getting deeper, isn't it? I don't think she's gonna be able to swim, right? That did not work out like I hoped.
Do I get to keep one of those arrows, please? There we go. That one break too? Come on, man. Give me a break. Ah, oh, I got to keep it. Awesome. Yeah, I don't want to take that hallway. That hallway was awful. There were so many of the, the runners in there. In close quarters. Fuck! Did they just spawn or something? That's when they're getting into range. There's two big ones. Great. Great. And all these toys I'm picking up aren't good for stealth. Someone aggro? That was a worrying drum beat I heard for a second there. That's the end. That's the hallway. So I've crossed that hallway now. I'm technically ready for another one if I really want to. That's not, that's not explosives though, so I'm not wasting explosive but not crafting it. Oh, come on. Can't just give me that door? You gotta keep that from me? Fine. 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 Yep, that's two big ones. Back to back. This guy's kind of a problem. I'd appreciate it if you walked away, Mr. Clicker. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want you nearby when I take this guy out. I don't know if he'll splash in the water or whatever. But he's gonna see me if I try to walk by. Clean. Get up. What the fuck? Get up. Okay, so we're full up on that. Aha, I can actually pick that one up after I reload. I just increased its ammo capacity. Reload. Thankfully all the reloading I do doesn't make noise, apparently. So your ammo's bad right now. You're not really a better option, necessarily. <clears throat> that's it, that's my close range weapon right now, so I can- that's fine. How is this going to work? <clears throat> oh, that's a clicker too. Okay. I wasn't sure what to make of the guy on the far right. I was worried we might have some trouble. But no, that's also a clicker. I can straight up walk past the one on the right, the big guy. This could go so bad. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, I was kind of hoping the big guy would go over for it. This is a little rough. Smoke bomb doesn't really deal with 
noise juggernauts. And if I get in range of them, they kill me instantly. Uh. Another one with eyeballs down. Those guys also are sound based, right? The big guys? They're supposed to be evolved from clickers, and the clickers can't see already. That guy's really far away now. You would think the sheer amount of noise they're making would make them not very good at, at detecting people. Yes. Good. get on up there and drop that crate for me. Quickly, please. Also, I'm gonna have to jump up there pretty quickly because I think it's gonna make noise. That's gonna make them all get attracted over here. Oh shit! What if her pushing it is too slow and loud? Fuck. Look out below. Don't yell. They didn't react to that? Huh. Weird. Hey, Ellie, let's get the fuck out of this uh, entire area, huh? Oh, water. Unfortunately, our, uh, our charge is water soluble. We're good. I don't think they can reach us now. <laughs> good jump. Okay. Watch your step. That water looks pretty deep. Hey, that's all we can do once we're done. What's that? You can teach me how to swim. You got it. Please do. We can just boost her up there, right? To the concrete? And then she can knock the ladder down. Right? No? Well, fuck. Guess I'll get busy. How do fish even find their way to these areas? Like, it's kind of a nice thought, the whole, like, oh, look, there's fish in these subways now, but what, wa what, what body of water did they come from that connected them here? Because they can't, uh, fish don't spontaneously just exist in water. Like, oh, there's water here, that means there's fish. I'm on the other side. <clears throat> right, hold up. It only spawn, they only spontaneously exist in, like, Minecraft. <laughs> Where you create, where you just plop water somewhere and then suddenly you can fish in it. Here you go. Alright, just stick to the edge. It's shallow over there. Is that another comic book? That comic she's been reading. These things are everywhere. Oh, freezing. Catalysis. Oh, I forgot to read Catalysis. No. I wonder how many of these I have now. Book 13. Faced with the failure of their mission, Daniela and James chose to make the ultimate sacrifice for humanity, flying the ship and the anti-carbon bomb on it straight into a neuron star. The resulting explosion was the single most significant astronomical event since the formation of the galaxy, destroying the Traveler fleet, their home world, and the countless other worlds and star systems. But will the sacrifice of two of humanity's greatest heroes be enough to break the Traveler's iron grip? Isn't it their entire fleet and their home world? I have 11 of them so far, and that's number 13. And that's not the end of it? I've been finding a lot of these things. Is that shiny? That looks shiny. No. It looks shiny. Another 
jam door. How did that not kill you? There we go. Here you go, Ellie. It's safe now. All right. Give me foot. Okay. Come on. Get that door open. Hey, a workbench. You all right? Ah, it was barricaded. And that was a soldier that turned into a clicker. Not good news. Not exactly, no. Haven't seen a shiv door for a while, have we? These things don't open. Time to go to work. Oh no. This thing has so few shots left. I want that armor piercing, but we're just barely short. Might risk it just in case. If I, if I get armor piercing on that thing, it could be very useful if we ever have to fight anything, any other armored dudes. Watch your head. Hey, a shift door. There you go. Is it going to be worth it? Yes, 50 parts. And an arrow. Oh, arrows are so important. Some explosives. I would craft one of these, but I'm... I'm only got to, I've only got two shivs, and those can also be pretty important, too. I'm not sure if dealing with some overflowing explosives is worth going back down to not being able to craft a blade again. Let's do Weapon Sway. I just don't know how many clickers I'll fight, necessarily. We are approaching the end, and I'm pretty aware of that. And I haven't been- I have actually have not used, uh, the clicker skill very often. Except for in some of those endings, uh, some of those deaths I get. Where it's like, good job, you, uh, you stabbed, like, three clickers, but then you just died. Because... <laughs> infinite clickers, in some cases. I guess if I if I did do the full durability doesn't uh, full durability shift doesn't break thing, then I might be able to survive some of those infinite clicker stab situations. But if I'm even getting in those situations, I'd really prefer to try to actually succeed at the scenario instead. There it is. We're getting closer, right? Right. Oh, man. I just don't find this room palatable. Ah, that's where it's gonna be. Down we go. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Please don't wake up or something. Bodies. That'd really be bad. Interesting path there. No. 
Almost got sucked back in there. There it is. So nice then to always give us a ladder or a pallet. Otherwise we'd be in some serious trouble. Although I guess what I guess Joel can't like swim across areas with Ali on her, on his back. I guess the issue is that usually these scenarios also have a thing where he can't reach something, so he needs to drag her over on a pallet. In addition to the fact that she can't swim. Get on. <laughs> As I just clunk. Are you gonna find one of those wooden uh, planks we haven't seen for a while? Oh, there's a ladder. I was hoping for the return of those wooden planks that just disappeared. I think there was like two or three near the beginning of the game, and then that mechanic kind of went away. Up the wall. Now what? I'll figure something out. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I was literally in the process of like, hey, that ladder looks strangely like it could be used as a plank because it's weirdly flat with the added plates. I'm like, oh, ask and she ask and ye shall receive. Plank man. <laughs> Here comes a ladder plank hybrid. Revolutionary. In this in the world of The Last of Us. It is all powerful. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, I see. Good idea. Da -da -da -da. Now the question was, is would I spontaneously thinking of that just because there was a gap here, and I was like, hey, I wonder if they'll do planks again. Or was I somehow remembering this from like five years ago? Because I super don't remember. That's not moving slow. Let me go ahead and you follow my lead. Okay, right behind you. Alright. I I do dig the idea that subways and stuff like that that were dug by mankind have become natural rivers. Not natural well not natural rivers, but have become rivers. That looks stable. I guess this addresses my question of where the fish came from. Perhaps, or at least implies a potential answer. Oh, these are not these are not platforms to be trusted. Uh oh. I haven't had to do much platforming in this game, so I kind of kind of screwed that up. What's my escape if I fall in there? Can I climb up that, or do I die? <laughs> Let's do it. Huh? Uh oh. Okay. Come on, jump. You're gonna catch me? I got you. See? You didn't even need me. Let's get the hell off this thing. Yeah, I did not trust that to hold, honestly. The bus held less somehow. Oh, Joel. Come on. Oh, boy. I was about to say, I was expecting something more like the beginning of Uncharted 2. And here we go. Oh.
Uh, do I need to do I need to look around manually or? Oh. Oof. Oh shit. Uh, she can't swim. Go. After so many look out below moments with Ellie, she finally forgot to say wash your head as she slammed a door into it. Uh, this is bad. Weird, we do not have air. Uh. She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air! Come on, man. 